Assalamu alaikum. Today I will try to explain uh, the Ethernet functionals and the piecewise function using new tester function and RAM function. And we will be seeing it using Dismos and MATLAB. So before going in to the uh, piecewise function or the Ethernet function, we will discuss about some basic things regarding uh, the shifting of the axis. So here you are seeing an equation of a parabola uh, which was we have already familiar with this parabola equation which is y square is equals to 4ax so here i have added the h and k value with the x and y uh, just to show how the shifting operation actually happens so here you see if you look closely then when you are increasing the value of h our curve is going towards the opposite direction that means the left direction the negative direction of x-axis and when we are increasing the h value it is going to the right direction so which is actually opposite what we normally think uh, this is because uh, for example if we have the value of h equals to 4 then uh, for x equals to minus 4 that is minus 4 and plus 4 we get the value of y is 0 so even though we have to set the value of h equals to plus 4 here we are getting y equals to 0 at x equals to minus 4 so that's how it works so we can see that when we increasing the value of h the parabola is going towards left and when you are decreasing the value of h parabola is shifting towards the positive direction of x-axis and the similar things also goes for the value of k when you are decreasing the value of k the parabola is shifting upwards and when we are increasing the value of k uh, just like now the parabola is shifting towards the downward so this is the basic shifting operation. Now we are moving into our piecewise function. So to, uh, to, in order to understand the piecewise function, we have to learn the at first the unit step function and the ramp function. So here we can see a basic equation of unit step function for positive values of x. The value of step function is one, and that's why it's called unit step function. Uh, if you multiply, you can multiply any kind of any, any constant with an unit step function and uh, here is our ramp function. So for the ramp function, for the positive values of x, the ramp function, the value of ramp function is x. So we can construct any figure, uh, any type of figure using uh, these two functions. So here is the code for uh, unit step function and the ramp function. So we can just okay. So here we have the unit step function and the RAM function. Let me just comment it out. Okay, so at first uh, we are taking a time interval of minus three. Uh, to 3 at a rate of 0 0.08 and we are interested to plot the unit step function at first and here we see some uh, plotting function like comet and other things uh, just to visual visualize it nicely so Here we are seeing that at u, x equals to ut, we have the unit step at t equals to 0, as we have seen it earlier. And if I now comment it out and just show that if I run this, you see that in this time 
at t equals to 0 because we don't have any h equals to uh, the value of h is 0 here. So we are having a step up of 2 units. Here is 0 to 2 because this is because we have multiplied the unit step function uh, with 2. Now, so uh, what will happen if I said t minus 1? As you've seen in the variable equations, when we're having something negative here, the figure is shifted towards the opposite direction. That means that if I have a minus value, the figure is shifted towards the positive values of x. So if I run this thing, so we are having a shifting operation, it will step up from here. Yes. So it is stepping up at x equals to 1. I think this is clear to everyone. So now you're seeing a RAM function. So for a RAM function, uh, this is the basic RAM function that is RT. So Sorry, uh, we have to run this one. Okay, so now, so at t equals to zero second, we are seeing it is having a ramp of um, a slope of one. For x equals to two, it is having a y value of two. So the ramp is one. So if we increase the ramp, we just have to multiply with the slope. So let's see. We are having a slope of 2 here. So here we can see it is just going or exceeding our boundaries. So we are having for 2, x equals to 2, the y value is 4 here. So this is because we, are multipl we have multiplied 2 with the RAM function. So if we see the shifting operation right now for the RAM equation. So this is also plus one error. You're supposed to having a ramp at minus one, as we have discussed earlier. For positive values, here shift the graph is shifted towards the negative directions. So here is the minus one. We are having a ramp at minus one. Okay. So if we are trying to plot any composite function uh, having multiple unit function, unit step function or ramp function, so how can I do that? How can we do that? So, at first, uh, just let us see a function. So, we have a function here, x equals to rt plus 1. That means, uh, for uh, we are, okay, for the time being, we just explain from the graph. So, we are seeing that at t is equals to minus 1, we are having a ramp of 1 slope 1 so we should add our ram value that is r at t is equals to plus 1 because we are having the ramp at minus 1 so the curve was supposed to go the upward direction 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 in this direction but the curve turns horizontally down so this is because this ram function we are ramp it down we down it at t is equals to 0. That means there is no h in the value of h. So we have a negative ramp. This minus is transfer negative ramp at t equals to 0. That's why it it becomes horizontal line. So after that, uh, we are we are again uh, subtracting a unit state function that at t equals to 2, we are seeing at t equals to 2 by 1 unit. So here is the t equals to 2. So if we can plot it again, I think it will be easier for everyone. So uh, that's how it works. So if we try to make a sawtooth function like this one, so what can we do? So to make a sawtooth function, uh, we should have a ramp at, sorry, uh, to make a sort of wave, we should make a ramp at t and what can we do? 
which is let's just see we're having rampant t is equals to zero after that we want to bring it back straight to zero at t equals to one so what can you do we can sub we have to subtract the ramp let's say we are subtracting the ramp r at which value at t is equals to one value that's why at t equals to one to subtract t equals to one we have minus one here so let's just see what we can write now so at t equals to zero we have an increasing ramp and at t equals to one we have uh, we have decreased the ramp so there it is we have decreased them but to make the sort of function we have to bring it back to zero at t equals to one and that's why we also need a unit step function to step down the value at which value yes at t is equals to one so we have to subtract it because the opposite nature we have seen it earlier so for this time we will be hoping that we will get a sort of wave yes uh, we have found a wave like sort of wave here so here is uh, our piecewise function demonstration and for the even of decomposition where we have uh, easy equations for for even function we have f of x plus f of minus x divided by 2 and f of x minus f minus x divided by 2 for odd functions so there is the code uh, i'll give the code in the description box and here is the xt function the normal function and here is the xt prime for the even function prime means this my x minus t and this is the even function this is the odd function and here we can easily calculate the energy also using the trap set function so let's see yes here it is okay so we are the function was r t plus one so we are having a ramp at t is equals to yes it is minus one so this is the x t function and that minus t is the flipped version it is flipped with respect to the y axis and here the even part of the function and there is the odd part of the function and we also calculated the energy of the functions using uh, the area under the curve so here is the equation for even and odd so if we add this two values we can we have the full energy of the total function so thank you for watching